Hello and welcome to Football Shorts here at Abbey Park in Cowinning. It's Eddie Gemmell here and Andrew Ferguson. Big game today, Andrew. Massive game. Oh. Really exciting tie. Tie around, yeah, it's a, it's a big one. Scottish Cup tie, second round. It's yeah. a pity these two teams met so early. That's what I think. You'd want to see a game like this later on, wouldn't yeah. you? In the semi final or even the final, maybe. Yeah. Your team, these. My team, Dave. Right in it. Yeah, okay. I've got my allegiances <laughs> here. Well, they've been doing really well recently definitely. and in the senior Scottish Cup. Yep. They've been doing well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, good run for them. Hopefully, make a bit of progress. Yep. Today it's a co winning. Yeah. Different matter. Yes. Um, two years ago, we filmed the, the semi finals of the Scottish Cup between Covering and Bees, and Bees actually, actually went on to win it. Well, uh, hopefully, see that again this year, oh, I think. Well, is that a pack of lies? That's a pack of lies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fans just getting us here, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> getting me, I think, as a Bees fan here. Well, I'm really looking forward to it, Andrew. It's, oh, I me think, too. I think it'll be a crack of the game. Yep. Both teams are up for this. Should be a big crowd. Let's mm -hmm. go and see this. And it's referee Duncan Williams gets his underway with the buffs in blue and white to kick us off in a really blustery day here at Abbey Park. There's a cross aim for Monte. And it's an up and under by Doherty. Bees in the chase. And it's buffs new signing, Syme, having to clear for a corner. A corner of Bees is cleared again by Syme at the near post. And in swinger aimed at Sheridan, and it's cleared again by Syme. And it's corner number three to Bees. And it's a low near post to Sheridan. Fritz picks up the loose ball. Fleming battling for the ball. Owen Maitland clips Wilson and referee William gives Maitland a stern warning. He kick bees. Aimed at Milliken. Just inches too far ahead. And strains long clearance to Fleming. The Monty threat closed down by Doherty, Fritz and Wilson. Fritz breaks down the wing. Tips towards Collins. Just a stretch too far. It's another long strain clearance. Flaming closed down by Bees. Nice control by Collins. McLeavy brings him down. Doherty, Connor Bees. Sheridan on the volley. Oh, over the bar. Another long clearance by Strain. Boylan to Lewis, to Fleming. Appeals for a handball by Sheridan. Penalty to Colwinning. Referee Williams points straight to the spot. And here you can see Fleming tries across. And you can see Sheridan's right hand punch the ball away. Penalty to Colwinning. It's Fleming to take. Goal Colwinning. Not being almost saving at the right hand side corner. And it's 1 0 to Kawinning. So far, Bees have had most of the play, putting the bus defence under pressure with four or five corners and Sheridan almost scoring just over the bar. But that handball by Sheridan could change it all. Buffs build up play is improving as the game goes on. Pass by Fleming, cut out by Doherty, intercepted by Maitland. What a turn! What a shot! What a goal! 
goal by Tommy Maitland and what a goal that was. Here you see Maitland working hard to fight back for the ball from Doherty. There's a wonderful Maisie turn and a left foot shot where McBain just couldn't touch it. Go winning two, B0. And B they've had chances in this first half so far but never converted. And here we are, Buffs leading 2-0. McLeavy and Pettigrew getting in a bit of a mess with Haggerty hassling for a corner. Aimed at the back post, shut it in. Oh, just past the post. McGlinchey aims for Haggerty. Oh, he's just offside. There's a Pettigrew free kick. Oh, and Wilson just doing enough to put Syme off. It's nice interplay on the left wing by Buffs. Fleming cross. And Boylan. Boylan to connect. And it's Bees' turn to play some tiki taka. Neat passing. Wilson to Haggerty. Clear to Doherty and tripped by Boylan. Free kick, Bees. And Boylan goes into the referee's book for that one. Free kick, Bees. McGlinchey to take. Oh, just clips the post. With strain, feeling the strain. And the pass finds Christie. Oh, and he's brought down by Pettigrew. Another free kick to Bees. Poor free kick by Doherty against the wall. Doherty to Sheridan. Lobs it into the six yard line. Cleared by McGuinness. But once again, another bead attack breaks down. The strains long clearance. Heralds half time here at Abbey Park. Goals by Fleming and Maitland. With Cowan going in 2 0 up in the Scottish Junior Cup second round. And there's the future of junior football enjoying a half time entertainment. And this B is in their traditional black and white, getting us off in his second half. It's Cowan leading 2 0 in the second round of the Scottish Junior Cup. As you can see, B is intent to grab an early goal in the second half. Christie, only slices wide. And it's a long shy, cleared by Maitland. And it's another long shy. Oh, just cleared by Syme with Christie just ready to head into the net. The Buffs are working harder now to close B down. Koski, long, the chase is on between Boylan and Doherty. Boylan! Oh, and it's smashing against the bar. And it's a brilliant take on the run by Boylan, with McBain wondering where the ball went to. He played out of danger by Sheridan. Another long clearance. This time Boylan is offside. Oh, and McCloskey brings down Christie. It's a free kick, Bees. Nice for a handball. And Haggerty up front has been working hard for Bees. Breaks out. Oh, and Boylan goes down. Is it a dive? He's already been booked, Referee Williams, red card boiling. <coughs> and the buffs are down to 10 men. This is Milliken. Breaks to Christie. There's a corner bees. That goes Sheridan. And just nicked away by McGuinness. A 
the B defence eventually stopped the tenacious Fleming. B's break on oh, a poor pass with Christian the clear. And it's Wilson to substitute McPherson. It's easily mopped up by McGuinness. On to Fleming on his own. Sheridan tracking back. Lays off to Monty. Goal for winning! 3 0. A brilliant break by co winning. And there's Fleming holding it up for support. And which kid Monty slips the ball beneath McBain. 3 0 to co winning. And Bees are now pinning the Buffs defence back. Bradley to Fritz. And it's into safety by Pettigrew. Short corner. Person! A great save by Stray. And eventually scrambled clear by Cowering. And Sheridan. Dinks to McPherson. Nice chest lay off to Christie. Oh, it just scrapes it upright. Oh, so close. Once again, Sheridan finds McPherson. It's a handball appeal. And referee Williams has no hesitation. It's a penalty to Bees. Up steps McGlinchey. Goal, Bees. Going three, Bees one. And the time running out against ten man buffs. Can Bees create a major comeback in a Scottish Cup tie? And it's another buffs break with Lewis spinning up the left. Aims for Cara. It's a stretch too far for the lanky centre forward. And Bees are throwing everything but the kitchen sink at the buffs defence. And again another corner. Brave clearance by Bukowski. It's another dangerous break by Kawinning. And this time it's Cutter that's offside. And it's long aim for McPherson again. Christie takes on Bukowski. And it's another corner to Bees. Up go the heads. On the break to Christie. Out to McGlinchey. Oh, it's just inches away from a second goal. He's working hard in the Buffs defence. But once again, it's a long clearance by Buffs. It's Nisbet on the run. There's a shot. Oh, just over the bar. And there's only seconds to go. And there goes the final whistle here at Abbey Park with Cloween coming out best in this Scottish Cup second round tie. 3-1. to one. Goals by Fleming, Maitland and Monty with McGlinchey for bees. So let's hear from Buffs manager Chris Strain. Uh, hi, I'm Andrew Ferguson. I'm with Football Shorts. I'm here with Chris Strain, manager of Cloween. Chris, are you happy with that result? Very happy, very happy, especially in the back of the last couple of weeks where we've no hit the usual standards, but I thought today we were well worthy of the victory. A couple of penalties, a red card as well. So your takes on them? Um, good showing from the referee? Or? I thought the referee had a good game. Uh, the, the sending off for Brian's debatable given that it's middle of the park, those are coming together and he, he sending them off for diving. Uh, I struggle to see what he's trying to achieve by diving in the middle of the park facing his own goal. So in my opinion it's maybe slightly harsh but the referee's on the spot and he's the closest guy to make the call. In terms of the two penalties, um, handball's a dubious thing. Um, but. Both of the guys had their arms out. Um, Sam's is probably Sam's only a yard away for the guy when he hits it off yeah. him, but his hand is up in an unnatural position as they tend to call it these days, and I think the very same for the bead one. So if he gives one, he's got to give the other, and we, we lament referees for a lack of consistency at times. But um, the referee was consistent, and he, and he stuck to his guns in that one. Uh, obviously, for last week, I do I mean I got two and a half at half time. I had a bad game, just confidence not been there with myself and. Maybe get job changing positions. No, 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 it's no, no suit me. I've just not been working hard enough in that. So, just 
back back pit bin the midfield today to just do the dirty work I think and make sure clear our lines and, and play for there and obviously got a chance to get a shot and go and, and get my goal which is lucky enough so I'm not usually that far up the park. I uh, well, took it well. Uh, maybe be a confidence boost for the season. To come. Aye, because I've been taking the penalties. I scored penalties, but I've no scored in open. That was the first goal I scored to open play. So, I definitely with mean, the the seasons I've scored a few goals, mainly leaders, but I've no, I hadn't scored before that day. So I'm I'm happy to get a goal and obviously to help the team. Well, here we are at the end of the Scottish Cup tie here between Bees and Covering Rangers at Abbey Park, and it's ended up three one. Andrew, what's your impression? I know you're a you're a bead man. <laughs> I'm not happy. Uh, <laughs> not happy. Not happy with the result. Well, I'm going to tell you, the buffy blood in me, but. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, I thought it was a a kind of funny game, a tight game. Uh, Cowan played really well. I thought, in comparison mm -hmm. to what the fans were telling us earlier on, say that haven't been playing too well in the past couple of weeks. Well, a couple of weeks we're going up to see Bead again, Lynn Lithgow in the Senior Cup. Senior Scottish Cup, uh, so we're looking forward to that. I'll be hoping to see a better performance from Bath anyway. Yep, yeah, aye, and well done to Buffs. He uh, did really well today, got a good result again, a hard team to beat. Um, but probably a wee bit of revenge for two years ago because Bath put them out the Scottish yep. Cup in the semi finals. Yep. And hopefully we can follow both teams because co winning, if they do a, another run the way they did a couple of years ago, we could follow co winning. And also, if Bath got a wee run in the Senior Cup, we could follow them. So, from Andrew and myself, see you next time.